Today, Facebook censored one of my comments. And ironically, I was talking about media bias. So they kind of played right into my hand and proved my point. So this is the comment in question. But to truly understand what I was talking about, let's look at the original comment I was responding to. So a friend of mine posted this, and you can read it if you want, but effectively he's just saying that he consistently has to ask Google News to not show him CNN articles because he's intelligent, so he doesn't want to see them. But Google keeps showing him articles from CNN anyway. And he jokingly says that it's kind of sweet of Google watching out for a friend. And to be honest, it kind of seems like he stumbled upon something. Because as I argued in my video about social media bias, the one that has Hunter Avalon's face on it, so you should click on it and watch that video if you haven't, Google is left-leaning. At least, that's what this 2019 paper found. They looked at the top news organizations and found that CNN by far dominated impressions. That on Google News, CNN got almost 11% of all news impressions. Followed up by New York Times, Washington Post, Fox News does come up next, but then you have things like USA Today, LA Times, The Guardian, Politico, CBS News, NBC News. Basically, Google is biased to the left. It's not really a surprise. Most of us probably already knew that, and that could be why Google continues to promote CNN, because that's who they want to promote the most, 11% of the time, as a matter of fact. So on Facebook, all I did was point that out. This is what I said. I actually did some research on social media bias and came across this article about Google News. Turns out they promote CNN more than any other organization, followed by New York Times and then Washington Post. But no, there isn't any bias whatsoever. And that last part, I was obviously being sarcastic there. That seems like a pretty harmless comment. At least I thought it was, but Facebook didn't think so. It's a little bit difficult to see because I have that weird X thing over the top, but they said that this was spam. And as a result, no one saw it. They said that spam is something like repeating the same comment, which I didn't do, getting fake likes, follows, shares, or video views, which I didn't do, or coordinating likes and shares to mislead others about the popularity of something, which I also didn't do. The only one misleading the popularity of something is Google, pretending that everyone likes CNN and promoting that over every other news source. So by none of those definitions does my comment fit in spam. It just doesn't make any sense. And to make sure I didn't miss something, I went directly to the Facebook guidelines where they define what spam is and why they try to avoid it. Facebook apparently limits the spread of spam because we do not want to allow content that is designed to deceive or that attempts to mislead users to increase viewership. Which again, nothing I said did any of that. Now it's entirely possible that they made a mistake because when you have a multi-billion dollar corporation like Facebook, sometimes things are automatically done. And sure, I'll grant that it could be a mistake. But I do think it's a little bit unnerving that these types of mistakes happen by and large on the political right. That it's much more likely a mistake like this will happen to you on Facebook or YouTube or Twitter if you lean right than if you lean left. And again, all I did was point that out, effectively pointing out that Google is biased to the left and Facebook shut that down. Now I contested this, so we'll see if they change their mind at all. I'll, I'll keep you posted if they do, maybe I'll leave a comment down below. But the fact that an organization like Facebook has this much power and they can deem something as misleading or misinformation even though I gave a direct cite to this 2019 paper, well, that's not a good thing. They can just shut down opinions and views they don't like and say it's misinformation. So yeah, this was actually the first time that Facebook did something like this to me. I know I've heard a lot of other people make similar um, complaints against them, but first time for everything. I haven't yet been in Facebook jail. I still have the option to post things, but we'll see. If you've had any Facebook stories like this one, go ahead and let me know down in the comment section below. I'm sure a lot of you have because, as I already pointed out, places like Facebook lean to the left. And if you lean to the right, well, they tend to not like that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, leave a like, and share this content. Maybe not on Facebook because we've already seen how they act, but other places might be okay for now. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.